Welcome back. This is the Intel on ENCA. We are in conversation with MEC Popira Matuba, the MEC of Health in Limpopo province. MEC, so let's talk about your personality shining through in the official cause of doing your work. Some have been wondering and intrigued by, you know, your personality in the sense that there have been a few instances uh, as we get the MEC back up. We get, we've got your video back there, uh, MEC. There have been a few instances where you said things that people thought were controversial. <laughs> what exactly did you say about people accessing alcohol and being vaccinated? I don't want to misquote you or say what you didn't say. What did you say and what did you mean about it? I think to last, all my statements are informed by science and, and also advised by the team that we work with. Look, uh, when we were busy with the first, second, third wave, the first issue that the president would do when he calls the meeting, actually it's not even him, it's us who would uh, go and cry to him to say, let's close alcohol because it is perpetuating the spread of the virus. And, and secondly, equally, we can't compete with patients who have got trauma cases as a result of alcohol. So alcohol is the first target if time you have a wave. That's the first thing. So if we don't vaccinate, it's a fact. The meeting, family meeting will be called and alcohol will be closed. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, you know, when we, 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 we talk about uh, people denied alcohol currently, People are already denied alcohol when we have the wave. So it's whether Ramatuba raise it or not, it will still happen. But the reason why we are also, uh, the second issue which I want to bring was when we lobby the alcohol industry to say, you are a person who is selling alcohol. And when you are selling alcohol, you suffer the most. You are losing jobs when the, 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 the industry is closed. Now, this is an opportunity to assist us to get everybody vaccinated. You, as a person who run the Shebin, you've got the right of admission that can be reserved. It means if you have vaccinated your employees, your, your customers are vaccinated, you have a right to tell everybody to say, if you are not vaccinated, I will not sell alcohol to you. You, you can do it. It's your own uh, industry there. As, as government, we can't stop uh, people from accessing uh, alcohol or anything, but individual in that industry can assist us uh, by doing all that. And the third issue here, which what to bring is to say, each time when there is a way, we have got surgical backlogs, we've got other diseases that we don't give attention to. And we are very much worried about that because the rights of those people who are denied access to hospitals, if you've got oncology cases, we're not attending to them. During the wave, we are tending to COVID-19 only. Now we're saying here is an opportunity. Everybody get vaccinated so that we don't get into the fourth wave, so that people with other medical conditions don't die because they are waiting to be operated. I can tell you, currently we are busy with programs of uh, trying to address surgical backlogs. And people are fighting. We are competing. Doctors have been converted to the God to choose. I must operate this one before this one. This one might survive, this one might not. That is traumatizing us as healthcare workers. You asked earlier on, uh, can I divide, uh, uh, separate the doctor and me and bring it? It's impossible. And, and it has become an advantage and also a disadvantage. Sometimes mm. I feel maybe if I was not a doctor, I would not feel this way. But because you are a clinician, you know the impact of what people are currently doing when they are refusing to vaccinate. You know the danger that is coming ahead. It pains you. It yeah. really pains you, especially when you... And, and then your department followed through, um, you know, just shortly after that with the campaign Mjolo that is dating, Mjolo slaps better when you are protected. And you said, uh, no condom, no sex, no vaccine certificate, no dating. Uh, to be quite frank with you, MSC, this is the kind of um, catchy, well-meaning statements I've come to expect of a figi lambalula. <laughs> do, do, do you have that streak in you as well, that, 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 that you, you will try and find a colorful way of expressing even serious issues? It, 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 it's really, you, you message, our messages are coined to the targeted group. 
the, the alcohol we were dealing with the 34 to 49 when we dealt with the alcohol message. When we were dealing with the 18 to 34 years, we talked to them about their Mjolo is what they, 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 they are known, it's their language, it's what they talk about. And, and what we were simplifying earlier when I said, my message is about science. What we're trying to simplify is, is to say, if you are vaccinated and somebody else is not vaccinated, you are not safe. Because we've heard scientists saying, uh, bodies of people who are not vaccinated have become a factory hub of these variants because the virus, when it gets into the system of someone who's not vaccinated, it then mutates. In the process of replicating, mutating, it then will create this new variant. Therefore, you, even if you are vaccinated, you get to be unsafe because this person next to you, his, his body has become a factory hub of these variants. So we are simplifying that by saying to the young people, when you're dating each other, make sure both of you are vaccinated. And somebody was saying, now, MEC, you are crossing the line. How do you enter into my bedroom politics? The fact of the matter is that what happened in your bedroom politics, when things don't go wrong, becomes my problem. So I have a right to also enter your bedroom politics and advise you, because I'm the MEC for health. I'm not the MEC for disease. I must not wait for you to get HIV and AIDS and want to treat you. I must mm. help you to colonize. I must not wait for you to get COVID-19 and think I will treat you. I must tell you to protect yourself by wearing right. a mask. But also, currently we have got a vaccine. Vaccinate yourself uh, and then we will see ourselves being protected. Completely out of time. 15 seconds, MSC. You've heard people who are fans of yours very early on who have said, here we have a future Minister of Health. 15 seconds. Do we have a future Minister of Health in Popira Matuba? I know that decision doesn't lie with you. What I'm asking is, are we going to keep you in the public service in, at that level or are we going to lose you at some point? I really do not know where will be my next uh, deployment. When I was a medical student, I never thought I would find myself uh, given a province to lead. When I was a doctor, I never thought, yeah, I am today. So whenever uh, my movement, if it's the African National Congress saying go, I will go. But what is important is that wherever, whenever I'm given a task, uh, if you go and look at my track record as a CEO, I was the best performing service uh, delivery point in the whole province, competing with even other institutions which are not necessarily health. So the issue is that when you are given a responsibility and a task, you must execute it to the best of your ability. I listened to the pastor uh, this morning at Sikoro Church saying, all of us who are here mm. are representative of God. So in all our tasks that we do, let's do them asking, is God happy right. about our performance? So anything that happens to me, I do not know where will I be in the next right. five years or 10 years. But wherever Amy. I will be, be sure I'll do my part. All right. Thank you for this conversation. It's been fascinating and revealing. That is the MEC Popira Matuba there. She's been our profile here on the Intel, the Intel briefing for you.